it's Saturdays with Sarah, but also sometimes Sunday because I am a full-time student and I'm really busy, yeah. Hey friends, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about trash. And no, I'm not talking about myself. Oh, you're so silly. Um, I'm talking dead ass bags of trash. So, this week I decided I wanted to keep track of how much trash I personally produce as a human being throughout the week. Um, this was inspired by my biology class. Shocking, because that class makes me want to end it all. Um, <laughs> But our last unit was about ecology and conservation, which is the one part of biology that I do enjoy. Um, and my bio teacher gave us a worksheet where she wanted us to keep track of our waste for the week. Um, and we talked a lot about single use plastic and things, little things that we can um, change in our day to day life to stop using so much single use plastic. Because the thing about plastic is once you use it, it's basically on earth forever. It does not break down. So single use plastic sucks. And I always told myself not to feel bad about using a lot of trash because I'm vegetarian, I'm mostly vegan, like I'm doing so much to help the environment through that. But you know what? We can keep growing and we can keep doing more. So my goal, um, for myself is to be more aware of how much waste I put into the world and figure out creative ways to cut down on that because the earth needs our help, yo. So I decided to keep track of my trash. Um, I split it into three sections. One section being plastic, one section being all waste other than plastic, and one section being food waste or like plant waste, anything that's like biodegradable and came from the earth. So when I first started the week, I was like, Ugh, I have these like little mini trash cans. I was like, oh, I'll probably just fill one of those up. Ugh. I was wrong. officially been one week. I went Thursday afternoon to Thursday afternoon and I have collected all of my trash. So let's go through it. I have a huge tall kitchen bag size of um, things that are not plastic, one full of plastic, and then a little Target bag full of food waste or things that are like biodegradable. So let's go through that first because I want to dispose of this because it's a little stinky. First of all, I do plan on getting back into composting. Um, I tried it like in a little bucket after I watched one video and it just did not work. So I think I'm gonna go to a composting class that um, our local Arboretum like Nature Center is doing with um, worm composting. Seems to be a little easier. But anyway, I don't really wanna pull all of this out cause it's kind of gross. <laughs> So maybe I could just show you the inside. So this week I threw away two things of flowers that we had in vases that were getting moldy. I think two bananas, three bananas, a bunch of grapes that um, I didn't get to eat, <laughs> and then a bunch of pistachio shells. And I think that's it. So not a bunch of food waste, not too bad, just about this much and most of that is just the flower stems so let's move on let's do non-plastic first I noticed myself throwing away a lot of these little puppies um these are my set schedules for work we get one every day these are for a specific spot but every day we get a paper with the set schedule on it because things are always different at Disneyland so I threw a lot of these away but there's not really any way around that. <laughs> I need them for work. Okay, next, something this always irritates me. I got a lot of receipts. Um, 
it irritates me a lot i know this is like a store policy but like even if you say that you don't want your receipt it still prints out and they immediately throw it away like ooh, that like really hurts my soul so um i hope that stores in the future figure something out with that and just like don't have to print receipts another thing that i threw a lot of threw a lot away of was tissues i used tissues to clean up um Oliver's little poops when he poops on the ground. I use tissues to just like wipe down my room. I use tissues for a lot of things. So tissues. I also have two bottom pieces of fabric. Um, I cropped two shirts this week. So this is the bottom of those. Next, a big boy. Ew, it's stuck together with gum. Oh my God. I'm really glad that that was off camera because that was disgusting. I have this humongous tin um with a little liner in it we had food catered at the city half house and they were like take some home so i just took the tin that the food was already in <laughs> what else i have a very crumpled up taco bell bag i was even more aware of how much trash they give you when you eat out this week i have a large cardboard box from a package that I got. I ugh, I get a lot of things off Amazon. I love Amazon, but like I get so many cardboard boxes and so many of those little plastic sheath thingies that they come in. What else, what else, what is this? Oh, this is a work thing. I should probably keep this, actually. I'm gonna keep that, glad I went back through that. Um, I got this ginormous Thing of popcorn when I went to see Frozen, no, yeah, Frozen 2 the second time with Sarah. Another tissue. Along with tissues, I also use a lot of paper towels now that I have Oliver. I use paper towels to um, clean up his mess when he dumps his water bowl over, which he does far too often. Um, and I also use it to soak up pee when he occasionally has a little accident on the floor um so that's really gross that i'm picking those back up but i also use paper towels a lot in the kitchen if i spill here's a cup from chipotle so far the biggest trend i'm seeing is food a lot of this is coming from food this is a makeup wipe um i did ask for reusable makeup thingies for christmas so hopefully i get those Okay, there's a little bit more on the bottom here, so I'm going to count everything up and give you the grand total because this is starting to get boring. Okay, I am back. Um, I, at first I was like, do I want to count things by like what they're made out of or like what I use them for? And I decided it would be most impactful for me to see like what I use the most trash for if I did it by like category. So. For my non-plastic section, my online shopping trash was one thing. I had four receipts, seven papers from work, um, nine papers from school-related things, 11 paper towels, and those were like paper towel balls. So it was probably a lot more like pieces of paper towel than 11. Um, eight pieces of trash related to makeup or face products, one piece of trash from mail, 15 related to food or fast food, three clothing items, four tissues, and 14 of the eyewear daily contacts. So they have little um, like aluminum uh, things you have to peel off to open the contacts. So 14 of those because one for each eye. So, looking back, my biggest waste is definitely in the food and uh, paper towel department. So, gonna work on that. Um, maybe invest in some rags, you know? <laughs> and I should probably eat out less because health and also waste. Let's move on to the plastic. This is the uh, big boy because plastic is bad as we've previously gone over okay first 
Again, I think a lot of this is food. <sighs> Maybe if I eat healthier, I'll get less plastic. My frozen fruit bag. I have a bunch of these little burritos. I buy these little frozen burritos that are really good. Um, and I eat a lot of them because you can cook them in two minutes and they're delicious. But it's not good for the environment. I also have a few of these little microwavable potato cups. Again, convenience not good for me or the environment. Um, I have an Amazon package. Like I said, I got a lot of packages. I got a plastic bag because sometimes you forget your reusable bags and you literally cannot carry everything. It makes me cringe, I know. As I have gotten all over my bunny, I've been using a lot more lit roller sheets. Bag of lettuce for Ollie. A lid for my nacho cheese. Also, this. Um, I had been buying all of our, like, bags of lettuce or, like, those huge tubs of, like, spring mix in plastic because it was really convenient, but I decided I want to start buying him fresh veggies, so just, like, the bundles of lettuce and, like, bundles of, like, herbs. It literally has, like, one twist tie on it, and that's all the waste. And it's probably fresher, too, so hopefully he likes that more. Grapes. Got a little naked juice. Um... These are, this is the big bag that Oliver's hay comes in. No way to really get around that. I can't really just like find hay on the side of the road. A bag for my um, bread. Dude, like literally all of this has been food so far. Maybe if I just stop eating, <laughs> I'll save the environment. A little face mask. Those I should start buying at Lush because they're not in plastic. If you're wondering what I was talking about with the contacts, my contacts come in this. It is plastic where the contact sits and then this part is like aluminum. So I would wear monthly contacts, but um, I wore those when I first started wearing contacts and then I start getting this uh, bump thing on my eye, which is irritation from monthly contacts. So my eye doctor literally told me to switch to dailies. So that trash is gonna have to do. This is from Taco Bell. Uh, I don't even know what this is from. So many things just have so much unnecessary plastic. Um, oh, here we go. It was like stuck to the bottom. Ew, why is it sticky? What is happening? Ew. That is making me feel gross. Okay, well. This is the big thing that I have been getting Oliver's food in because it holds a lot of um, greens and they're washed and ready to eat. But I decided I'm buying fresh ones. There's also a Starbucks cup in here and a Starbucks protein pack in there. I have some bubble wrap in here. I have my butter container. Lots of little um, fast food things. So I'm gonna count all of this up now because I'm almost out. There's also maple syrup on my fingers so I kinda wanna cry. And I'll go back to you with the grand total of plastique. Okay, so my grand totals for plastic. Um, for plastic, since there's so many food things, I split food up into like food I eat at home waste and food, fast food waste. So for normal food that I buy and eat at home waste. I had 22 individual pieces of plastic. For fast food, I had 15. Uh, I had two hay bags for Oliver. I had four sheets of lint roller plastic. I had four packaging items from online shopping, five uh, makeup or face products, so like Q-tips, uh, face masks, etc. Um, two other pieces of plastic that I were just like clear pieces of plastic that I had no idea what they came from. Uh, 14 little contact things and one plastic bag. Actually, plus the three plastic bags that I'm using to hold all of this and throw away. So four plastic bags. So in total, I just learned that most of my plastic comes from food. So that is really interesting. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you eat a lot of food and everything has to be held in something. I think I talked about this in my Goodwill video, but I do want to start buying food in bulk. I think that would help 
with some food waste. I do need to stop eating out. It's hard, but eating out produces so much waste and is so bad for me. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna start being more aware of what the food I buy comes in. A lot of my like quick, easy meal solutions produce a lot of waste. So they're good for my time efficiency, but not good for my time on the earth. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was really interesting. Um, in total, I have two full, tall, large trash bags for my week. Um, that includes everything. So I, an individual person, produce about two bags of trash a week. There are, however, how many weeks are there in a year? I'm going to look that up so I can actually give you a statistic. 52 times two is 104. So me, as a individual that tries to reduce little waste, I produce 104 bags of trash in a year. So imagine me times eight billion people on earth. Some people probably create a lot more waste than me. People who use single use water bottles. I'm looking at you. It's not cute or trendy, stop doing it. People who don't use reusable bags, etc. Um, and then, of course, there's large corporations. So the big issue with waste in our world is large corporations. So what you can do as an individual is choose to buy from places that are eco-friendly. So support small businesses, support big businesses that are eco-friendly. Um, large corporations produce so much much waste and are the reason that our world is dying well this got really political but um i'm dead ass serious so yeah this is just a cute little fun little psa hopefully this helped you become a little bit more self-aware um i have a video coming up of little things that i am changing to make myself more eco-friendly so hopefully that can help inspire you too but yeah this is really interesting and is going to make me think uh more because every time you go to throw something in the trash go this is literally gonna sit in a landfill hopefully in a landfill and not like in the ocean um but this is gonna sit somewhere for definitely the rest of my lifetime and probably my children's 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 lifetime so yeah not to end on a depressing note but just do every little thing you can to help the environment this video is probably really long now so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching me literally go through my trash. Um, I love you guys so much. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below something that you're doing to become a little bit more eco-friendly. And yeah, later.